Let's do an illustrative example of simple regression analysis or the least square methods. So the least square method is the most reliable method of cost estimation. And remember, we're trying to calculate the linear equation. So y equals a plus bx. So once we have this linear equation, we can input any activity level or x and then calculate our corresponding total cost or y. So we want to calculate our A and our B, or our fixed cost and our variable cost per unit. So the simple regression uses past observations and, and each of the observations in order to then statistically calculate A and B. So um, let's look at an example. So here we've got the telephone expense for the past seven months, so telephone bills, and on it we have total duration, so that's our activity level, or our X, and then total cost for each month, that's our Y. And we want to calculate A and B, or our fixed cost, and our variable cost per unit, because these costs represent a mixed cost. So, before we start, um, the, um, it is, we're going to use algebra to do this, so we get two formulas that is usually given in an exam. So here they are, and we need to uh, solve these two equations simultaneously in order to get our A and B. Now, in real life or when you start working, you're going to use a calculator or you can use Excel or a spreadsheet to calculate A and B. So, um, you're probably not going to have to do it by hand. Um, so, therefore, the, the interpretation of the results of A and B or the linear equation is much more important than doing these calculations. But you still need to do it in an exam. So let's see. So we want to calculate A and B. So those are the, the two variables we need to calculate. So let's look at the information that we're going to use. So let's make a list of what we um, require from our, two tele from our telephone bill. So first we need the sum of X, Y. So that means we're going to have to multiply all the x's with all the y's and then sum it to get the total. Then we also need the total of all the x's, so we're going to have to sum the uh, activity levels. We need the sum of x squared, so x squared would be the activity level times itself for each month and then the sum of that. And then finally we need um, the sum of y. So there we have the sum of uh, so the sum of x again. So there's basically four things: the sum of x y, the sum of x, the sum of x squared, and then the sum of y. And then there's this um, a n or n. That's just the number of observations, which in our example is seven. There's seven months. Okay. Now let's see if we can find this information from our telephone bill. So here I've already done that. So our first column would be just all our activity levels for each month. So the sum of x. So this sign here basically means sum or total. Next column we have our y's or our costs. So the sum of all our costs. So that's the sum of y. Then we multiply each x times each y to get the, the x, y, and then we can sum that, the total. And then finally, x squared, which would be the activity level time itself, times itself, and we can sum all of that, so that's the sum of x squared. So now we have all four values here at the bottom that we need to solve our two equations simultaneously. So here we've got the two equations, one and two, and we just substitute or we, we input each of the, the four variables that we calculated on the previous page. So I'm just going to circle all of them. There we go. So remember, these two are the same. So there's one, two, three, four. So I've substituted all of them in here, and, and then we get equation three and four. So it's the same and one and two, just with the values in. And then remember, this n is the number of observations, or seven. So now we need to solve sim simultaneously for equation two, uh, 3 and 4. So I've repeated equation 3 and 4 on this page. 
and now how do we um, solve these two simultaneously? So what we want to get to is to calculate B or A, so we need to eliminate one of those two. And the way we do that is to find the smallest common denominator for one of them, which will effectively eliminate that variable and leave the other one to solve. So we're going to um, eliminate A since A has the smallest values before it. So we'll have smaller numbers to work with. So um, equation 3 will multiply by 7 on both sides of the equal sign. Remember, if you multiply by the same value on either side of the equal sign, the formula does not change. You don't change it mathematically. So that's what we did to get to equation 5. And then we'll multiply equation 4 by 4,250 from there on both sides of the equal sign. So again, we don't change the, the formula. The numbers do get bigger, bigger, but by multiplying on both sides of the equal sign, we don't change the formula. So this becomes equation 6 then. And now we can subtract equation 6 from equation 5, and that will effectively eliminate A. So you can see there. So let's just start from the beginning. So 42.87 million minus 42.6 million will leave 248,340. And then 29750A minus itself will eliminate that value. So A disappears. And then finally, 18.19 million less 18 million gives us 131200B. And now we can solve B, and that is our variable cost per unit. So once we have one of the two variables, A or B, we can calculate the other one. So we have B, which equals 1.89. Now we can substitute that into any of, any of these two calculations and solve for A. So I'm going to use the smallest one. It's going to be easier to work with. So here we've input B into the formula. And we can just now uh, solve for A. So uh, 4,250 times 1.89 is 8,045. And we can carry that over so it becomes a negative. So that leaves 7A equals 1985. We can divide by 7 on both sides which will leave us with A equals 284. And that is our fixed cost. So now we can write out our linear equation. Y equals fixed cost 284 plus variable cost per unit 189 times X. So now we can use this linear equation to forecast any total cost for a future month if we know what the activity level is going to be. So this is a simple regression analysis or the least squares method. And that is the most reliable method of cost estimation since we use all the observations from the past, not just the highest and the lowest. And the line is then drawn statistically through all the points so that the errors above and below the line all cancel out. So it's the shortest total distances overall. So this line is the line of best fit. Um, and that's simple regression analysis.